surprise Christmas present for Haz. Harry in agony as Charles claims strip all his titles at Christmas. It's been almost two weeks since the documentary blockbuster Harry and Meghan broadcast and made the whole world headache. The six episodes produced and starred by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have brought countless controversial details, with the British royal family being portrayed as villain. However, Harry and Meghan in the end could not help the reputation of Meghan Markle and the second son of the late Princess Diana become better and more positive in the public eye, the main object of the film. What the couple received at the moment was the sarcasm, the growing estrangement of the audience, along with the unhappy attitude of the British royal family. This Christmas, Harry and Meghan have clearly become loners. Even those who do not follow much and deeply about the British royal family know or have heard about the discordant couple Harry, Meghan. Their different ideas and views have separated themselves from the royal line, along with accusations and accusations that rarely have any supporting evidence. But then, a documentary film was born, creating conditions for this young couple to roam, freely tell bad stories and weave the monarchy from their point of view. $100 million for Netflix to become a backyard of unknown words, but clearly make the face of the British royal family become distorted, ugly and strange. Netflix had a 2022 that was subject to criticism and controversy at all levels with its policy of crushing the original. From a movie about the killer Jeffrey Dahmer that went too far from reality, even misrepresenting the victim, to a lighter level Wednesday and the Adams family no one could recognize, and now it's six the episode is full of lies, details of conflicts cutting each other from the mouth of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. At least, viewers can only sympathize with Meghan Markle going through a difficult time because of a miscarriage, or the quiet moments with two babies Archie and Lilibet. However, those tender emotional details were not enough to make the audience turn the car, sympathize with the couple who are on the verge of leaving this British royal family even for a little bit. Harry and Meghan still brings a Meghan Markle who likes to cry, playing the role of the victim everywhere, but more surprisingly, it is an inconsistent Prince Harry, when every word he says in the film goes against what he said. He believed, pursued before. Just going to class, having an attitude against the sister I never had Kate Middleton alone is enough for the majority of the audience to shake their heads with regret at the second son of King Charles III. Harry and Meghan seems to be facing a lot of trouble before the documentary comes out, and the situation is more serious after the film reaches the public. The main purpose of the documentary is clear to everyone Harry and Meghan is to help viewers find somewhere sympathy and mourning for the young couple's decision. But in fact, there has been almost no support for Harry and Meghan since the project was announced. Accessing any trailer, viewers can encounter countless sarcastic, disparaging, and even mocking comments. There is almost no room for any sympathy for Prince Harry and his wife. Although the film tries its best to put both main characters in the harmed position, with the culprit being too predictable. Husband's family and the media. The film intentionally mixes many passionate moments of the couple but omits too many milestones and events that should be answered. Royal expert and biographer Robert Jobson maintains that after opting to blast his family on an international platform, Harry should no longer use the Sussex title. Harry claims in his Netflix docuseries he offered to give up his title Duke of Sussex. Given his and his wife's distaste for our constitutional monarchy, surely it is time for the Crown to accept his offer. The title was given in anticipation of service to the Crown and country, he said. He isn't the only one who feels that way. A poll for the Sun newspaper found that 93% of people thought the couple should be stripped of the title, with only 4% thinking they deserved to keep them. Only 4%